welcome to bsc statistics students in this lesson i explain definition of time series and uh, some examples of time series and what is the importance and what is the relevance of time series i explain here in this class <coughs> you see here uh, uh, for any kind of proper planning and formulation of effective decisions are taking effective decisions uh, in any particular industry or an organization or any particular department of uh, government uh, uh, which are completely based on the past data uh, simply to specify the past data is nothing but a time series so uh, it uh, which uh, is going to be explained the past data in the sense that the data relates with time in accordance with the time it is nothing but a time series data of course i i discussed definition uh, to formulate uh, effective decisions uh, to make a proper planning some kind of past data is required for any organization that is what uh, the very very important purpose of uh, time series for that reason the time series is going to be used to and also to observe the trends and the patterns of a particular variable in the future time period that is this is what uh, another important very very important uh, feature of the time series by using the time series data that is the past data we can observe the trend we can observe the pattern of a particular variable in the in the near future in near future that is in the for in a particular future time period it can be uh, estimated the trends are going to be estimated uh, which can be forecasted any kind of pattern of a particular variable economic variable or uh, uh, commercial uh, any kind of variable which is going to be estimated which is going to be forecasted that's very important purpose <clears throat> so finally to analyzing for analyzing and forecasting the patterns of economic variables in business and related activities uh, that this particular uh, uh, past data is going to be used that is time series is going to be used that's very very important now come to the definition definition of time series uh, arranging the statistical data in chronological order that is in accordance with time that is occurrence of time is called time series so whatever the data you are in for example in accordance uh, with uh, some particular year for last 10 years we have to arrange a data the trade of some particular commodity or uh, sales of a commodity profits of a commodity agricultural production etc various variable whatever it is it is arranged according to year for last 10 years or in a particular year La, uh, 12 months data of 12 months is arranged sales of the some particular uh, item in uh, 12 months uh, of a particular year it is arranged monthly data quarterly data in uh, day wise in a week the sales is observed in a week temperature is observed in a week uh, some particular uh, phenomena some particular variable it is going to be observed that is a statistical data arranged in accordance with the time that is called time series uh, time series so this is a past data data was already recorded so such kind of data is known as time series uh, another definition you see a statistical data of a variable under study is arranged with reference to time or different time periods is called a time series and uh, time series is most useful in the field of economics and business statistics the following are the some of the important definitions some of the definitions given croxton and cowden at times according to the according to uh, these uh, mathematicians statisticians a time series consists of data arranged chronologically that's what we, are, we have def um, learned in the definition you see here uh, yalun cho uh, according to him a time series may be defined as a collection of readings belonging to different time periods that's what uh, of some economic variable or composite of variables 
for many number of variables uh, that is uh, uh, from last 10 years uh, the data is observed for sales profits uh, uh, and earnings etc of a particular different multiple variables composite variables uh, data the study is going to be that this study is nothing but time series data now finally we, we discuss some of the examples we see quickly we refer some examples examples of time series sales and profits of a product of a company in different years national national income measured for recent 10 years past 10 years national income similarly you see in the many number of examples here uh, i'll uh, discuss with you and foreign exchange reserves of a country in various years monthly bank deposits and bank clearings monthly data price and production com um, consumption of various commodities in the city during the different months of a year that is monthly data daily sales of milk and milk products in a month in a month daily data day wise of a milk booth shares in stock exchange in all days of a week that is monday to sunday all days of a week agriculture production of paddy in state of andhra pradesh during last seven years some number of years industrial production in a, in a city hyderabad city during all months of year production sales and profits that is multiple composite number of variables of a product of a steel plant in Vishakapatnam during last 10 years like that we can define any number of uh, examples so what not uh, for a for a planning for future planning and uh, uh, forecasting of one particular uh, what is the profit in um, which will be uh, in the uh, coming coming years that can be it is it can be only achieved with the time series data the past data is required the data in accordance with the time it is nothing but a time series you see here it is a function of t it was specified here clearly y is uh, y t y of t is equal to f of t so it's a function of time period so y y is the variable y1 y2 that is y t1 y t2 y t n are the values of the variable at a different time periods t1 t2 tn that is uh, it was specified in a table t1 t2 and so on tn maybe 2001 2002 2003 and so on like that t is the time period or january february march april etc or sunday monday tuesday wednesday etc and the data is given for example here yt yt is going to be specified y of t1 y of t2 y of tn like that these are the uh, these are the time periods these are the values of the variable. So, this is the representation of time series. Hope you understand this is what the definition of time series and various examples I have discussed of time series. Thank you. Thank you so much.